Um, I've been with Sage for about 15 years. And I've been with the team that is now the sales enablement team for about 12 of those years. And I got my start from enablement uh, in the Atlanta, Georgia area. I'm sure we've probably got some participants here from the, from the Georgia area. Some of you may know uh, from uh, Michael Wilkinson from Leadership Strategies, or you might have heard of Leadership Strategies. Uh, Mr. Wilkinson is a certified master facilitator. I was in one of his classes very early on in my career. And Mr. Wilkinson was a fabulous facilitator. And I'm sitting here looking at this guy and I'm like awed at what he did and how he did what he did. And it was something that when I got that opportunity, I said, this was something that I want to do. I want to do something just like what this guy is doing. And I got a chance to meet him, got a chance to learn some things from him, took that information with me into what I've been doing here at SAGE. And yes, uh, again, just had my 15th year here at SAGE. Love what I'm doing. And Eli, I know I've told you this before, and Verna already knows about this. Saleshood has made my life so much easier. And so for all of you guys who are want to know about this, it's just, it's, it's a phenomenal tool to help us get to where we need to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. So uh, the point that I wanted to mention regarding what happened and a part of what I want to do to set up the demo that I'm going to do. Um, I remember that date, um, December 16th, uh, 2019, um, a lot because there were about, uh, we had this big, huge marketing and training enablement collaboration meeting. Now I'm work, I work out of our Midtown Atlanta office. The background for my video when you looked at it is a virtual background of the office that I'm in in downtown Atlanta. And immediately we knew something was up because Werner said, I'm coming to town. We've got a lot to discuss. And I'm like, okay, wow, okay, Werner's coming. So we got to figure out what we're doing here. There were 16 of us that were in that room under various uh, parts of the business. And the 16 of us in this room were tasked with creating training modules that we can leverage for multiple audiences. And specifically, we were told we wanted to be able to hit um, our direct team, our indirect team, all of our VARs, and our pre-sales team. So we had to make this material in a way that everybody can benefit from it, and not to mention our colleagues. So we had 80-plus uh, colleagues. The number's actually closer to 100 between the internal teams and the external teams. And we got this information uh, on 12, 16, 19 because of a new marketplace, our ISV marketplace that we were rolling out in January. So notice what I said. We had the information in December. We had to be ready on January 2nd. So that was a little bit more than two weeks. So considering what we had to do, and the tight window that we had to do it from, we had to get some information. From our ISVs, we needed videos on the solution. We needed to know who the ISVs were, what they offered, what their value was, who their target market was. We need to get all this information from the ISVs so that we can understand them. Now, our initial ISVs that I dealt with were Credit Hound, which is a solution that helps businesses get um, their cash flow together and Avalara Avatax, which helps uh, people uh, pay their sales tax if there are multiple sales tax uh, municipalities. And in addition from what the ISVs we needed from them, we also needed to make sure that the sales colleagues, when we did the training, knew what we were talking about. We, it's back to those, the, 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 the being predictable and repeatable. We needed to make sure that they knew it, that they understood it, and we need to prove that they knew it. And we had to train them on the brand new platform because the ISV platform was a brand new thing to Sage. And so their first look at the ISV platform was going to be what the platform was and then these particular products that were in the platform. And we did this through Saleshood. And when Saleshood came into the picture, we used it to create these huddles for the individual solutions, and we scheduled the training for the teams in Saleshood. And it goes back to those four things that Werner said, predictable, repeatable, consistent, scalable. 
Saleshood helped us hit all four of those points. Now, um, Deborah's on the call and some of the others and, uh, and Joey. Right before I was tasked with this assignment, I had just gotten my Saleshood certification. So I got my certification, I was very proud of it. And I said, I'm definitely gonna be able to use this in the not too distant future. Little did I know that I was gonna be having a <laughs> baptism by fire. <laughs> I was gonna learn it, not just in the not too distant future, but like almost immediately. <laughs> so once um, me, a relative newbie at Saleshood and all of us that were just certified, we were green, uh, we just got into the hood for the first time. But after we were able to do this, we were all could take a step back and we all said, we were pleased with what we did. It, it really served the purpose, it hit all the marks. And we were all excited, all the people on the team that I worked with, we were all excited as to what we were gonna able to do going forward. Because since we knew we could do this and we actually had not just a proof of concept, but something real that we were able to get together in 11 days, we were just like, this is gonna be wonderful once we really, really get to do it. And what we had to do is we got a chance to replace this. Oh. <laughs> we, we used to live, yeah, Eli, you laugh. We used to have <laughs> super big, created, printed, static manuals. That was the way we did our training. We had the static manual, you got it. And then we had somebody who would do a Sage on the Sage session where they would talk for 45 minutes or an hour or two hours and talk to you about what's in the manual. No way to figure out whether or not somebody's read it. Nobody, no way to figure out whether or not it's been retained. We took that and we turned that into this. And in saleshood, those little bubbles up there at the top were letting us know that people were in saleshood. We know that they were looking at it. Not only do we know that they were looking at it, we knew who was looking at it. We also knew what they were looking at, where they were at, if they were completing things, if they were on time. I mean, it goes back to those things that Werner said. We could make sure that we were consistent. And because of the way Salesforce works, it was very easily to, easy to scale because we took the information that was done for the internal team and very easily were able to slightly repackage it and set it up as a, a huddle and a learning path that could go out to the field team. And then when they had to do the concept of a pitch in saleshood, which is basically a way for them to show uh, that they knew, because they had to actually do a video to, to demonstrate mastery. Mm. It again, gets us back to the point where we can show that the team knew that they were trained and we could prove it. The managers knew about it. And it gave us a level of accountability for the sales uh, colleagues and accountability to the managers that we didn't have before. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you a little bit of what that uh, demo looked like.